Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. So you know me, I'm that guy that goes into way too much detail so that you don't have to. And I've done it again, similar to the supply ship on Kings Canyon. I've created the most advanced guide on YouTube, but for the train on World's Edge. Now this covers everything from the basic to the most advanced because I feel like you need to have some of the basic to understand the advanced stuff if you are fresh. Now, other than that, if you learn anything new, as always, smash like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get straight on with this. Now starting off with the most basic, there's a light that shines up into the sky that follows the train so that you can basically see it anywhere on the map. It's a bit like the mystery box from Black Ops Zombies that you can just shine straight up. And you can also see it on the map. This moves around on the mini map, on the main map when you bring it up. So you'll be able to see it at all times, no matter where you are. Now, when it comes to actually landing on this train, you do have to be a bit careful, but a couple little landing tips first. If you're struggling fresh on like the front end, just jump off and you can jump straight back, lower down on the end of the train, where it's hopefully a bit more clear and then you can make your way back up the train to help the rest of your team take anyone else out and similarly if you do land and say there's 20 million people on you like there is sometimes you know what just climb straight up on top nine times out of ten everyone will just either jump off the train get into their own fights and you'll be able to save your ammo save your health for the very final people or just allow your teammates to come in and help now number five is avoid anything but the flat ground. If you hit any little edge, it can end up sending you flying off the train and you'll be left watching your squad fly off and you'll be shaking your head in disappointment. Also, the loot system. How does this loot on the train work? It's basically an extreme high tier loot zone. I don't think I've ever found common armor. It's all high tier loot. And for stra some strange reason, it's constant Phoenix up. So there's been time I've gone through and gotten like six, seven Phoenix up. Increased Phoenix up spawn rate. And now in a recent update with 3.1 patch, they also added gold weapons, which is brilliant for the train. But a little tip that not many people know about is the last supply bin on the train has the most increased high tier loot chance. The amount of times I go to that end one and it gives me more stuff than any other supply bin on that train. Now, a few little tips with this whole looting system. Obviously, sometimes your squad mates can't get on, so drop the shield off of the train, ping it so that because they can't catch up to it unless they're Pathfinder, and even then, it's a bit of a struggle. And now, with the gold weapons, you also want to be dropping those off because you can find multiple gold weapons on there quite easily. Now, because you do get a lot of high tier loot on the train, including multiple purple armors, always double check a looted train in, in the distance. You see it's already been looted. Always double check to see if you can see some purple armor because sometimes it does spawn like four or five purple armors and people do have to leave it behind. Be careful with falling loot as well. As you saw here, some falling loot actually ended up traveling through the walls of the train. So you might end up losing some stuff there. Now onto Legends abilities. Number 13 is Crypto's Drone Floats. So basically the whole train has its own like physical bubble which allows Crypto's drone to stay stationary with the train. This also allows you to basically use it as a security camera. You can come out of it and the camera still stays there floating with the train in midair and there's not that resistance of the normal physics outside the train. Now this doesn't apply to to all legends for instance Bangalore smokes that they don't stay that does travel off in the distance similar to the uh, supply ship and as well with Rafe's portal that doesn't stay but that's because it like you'd be able to create infinite or well, not infinite but ridiculously long tunnels that just probably wouldn't work with the mechanics now lifelines drone does stay that's pretty handy though it doesn't just wander off like a uh, race portal so you don't have to worry about lifelines drone and gibraltar's ult i was kind of hoping i tested this one out because i was hoping this would travel with the train so like it ended up raining in a row along the train tracks but it doesn't it just all spawns down on where the you threw the original smoke. Now, Pathfinder is probably one of the 
best for the train because you can get these insane grapples and that also is a little tip you can like just jump off grab some loot when you need to like you do have a couple seconds to open a supply bin or two now number 19 moving on with train stations in general you can actually ping them when they're underground and it, this allows you to let people know in your squad about these like secret underground ones because obviously not everyone knows about them at the moment as well and we're going to be showing you where all of these little hidden ones are so at the thermal station they're on each corner two on either side of the train tracks at train yard all three of them sometimes there's three sometimes there's four at train yard uh, there's only three and all three of them are on this same side at refinery there's four and you have two against the blue back wall and then two on the side walls now even though this whole station is the same at sorting factory the secret chests are a little bit different and they're all on the side walls not against the blue back walls at skyhook you've got these actual proper stations and these are kind of all the same you've got these uh two on one side and then there'll be one on the other side these train stations only have three spawns as you can see coming into capital city this is technically called the third train station and you can see again it's got the free supply crates i'm hiding from the enemies right now um and just to let you know i did try to get in as it went underground i was wondering if it might kill me or i might be able to just get stuck under there but it forces you out you can't get in and then as i was saying with the numbered train stations over at Lava City, the broken down train station here, this is actually the first one. Now, I am wondering if later down the line they'll do an environment map change and they might actually fix this area. Um, but as of the moment, this entire train track section isn't actually in use. So when you see that, you don't need to worry about it. Now, controlling the train. Yes, there's, there's a lot of different timers on this. Now, you can't actually stop the train until it's reached full speed. And it's the same when you stop the train. You won't be able to start the train for another like 28 seconds. It takes ages to slow down uh, before you can actually start it again. It travels a good 50 meters before fully stopping. Now, will auto start after 20 seconds? If you leave the train after stopping it, go and run around to loot up, the train will automatically start again after 20 seconds. So make sure you're ready and close to get back on. Now, just a warning, finally, the train can kill you. For instance, the little like joints here when it's going up and down hill bits can uh, crush you and say lampposts when you're trying to climb up the side of it or there's a cliff and you get crushed. But other than that, as I said, if you learned anything new, smash like, subscribe for more insanely over the top detailed knowledge that takes me freaking forever to get and mind crushes me. But other than that, I'll catch you all later. Peace. I I'm on this trip for the long haul, guys. Now we just got to wait like freaking 30 seconds. No, Rafe. Pathfinder, heal. No. Rafe. You're gonna die, Ray Ray! Oh my god, that clutch! The train came out of the storm as you were on one HP. Are you serious? The clutch of the century.